I will discuss another form of vertical translation that is vertical stretching or vertical compression. So I'm going to plot y equal to 2 cos x and y equal to half cos x. Take note that if the value here is more than 1, then this is the vertical stretching. If the value is less than 1, then this is the vertical compression. We start by plotting y equal to cos x. We have 2 pi radian. Remember, if x is internal radian, you have to use 2 pi radian, not 360 degree. So cutting half, you have pi radian. You have 0 here. Half again, you have pi over 2 radian and 3 pi over 2 radian. The range for cos x is again nearly 1 to 1. Remember for cos x, for 0 degree, they start with 1. Then pi over 2 radian, 0. Then pi radian is nearly 1. Then back to 0 again. And 2 pi, they are back to 1. So this is a general pattern of y equal to cos x. It's very important to know the general pattern before you can do the transformation. Now we're looking at y equal to 2 cos x. You have to stretch this vertically by 2 units. So you need a 2 here and a negative 2 here. So instead of start from 1, for y equal to 2 cos x, they start from 2 back to 0. Negative 1 become negative 2 back to 0 and back to 2 again. You can see here the point at the x-axis remain unchanged. So this is a graph for y equal to 2 cos x. Now I'm going to sketch y equal to half cos x. This is an example of vertical compression. So the scale factor here is half. So I need half and negative half here. So they're going to start from half back to 0 to negative half to 0 and half again. So this blue color curve here is y equal to half cos x. If you compare y equal to half cos x with y equal to cos x, you can see that for y equal to half cos x, this graph is being compressed vertically. But for y2 cos x, this graph being stretched vertically by 2 units. We can see that the amplitude, that is the highest point from the axis, the amplitude for y equal to cos x is 1 unit. The amplitude for y equal to 2 cos x is 2 units. And the amplitude for y equal to half cos x is half. But the period for this 3 graph is still unchanged, that is still 2 pi radian. So the length for one complete cycle is still 2 pi radian. You should notice here for vertical translation, that is a type 1 transmission, and type 2 transmission, vertical stretching or compression, the period remain unchanged.